What's going on guys? Nate here coming back at you with another video. All right, so taxes for Shopify. Taxes, man. Ugh, don't like taxes. I, I haven't really met one person yet that, that likes taxes. I ask everyone, I'm like, dude, do you like taxes? And they're like, dude, no. So I'm going to talk about taxes because no one really likes taxes and it seems like no one really wants to talk about taxes. I've seen some videos out there um, that are pretty solid, but I think I can do better. So here we go. And actually my first video on this channel is a Shopify tax video, but I'm going to be remaking it right now because I think that I can clearly express my thoughts now and I'm not as like bad at talking on camera as I was in the first video. If you haven't seen the first video, you can check it out. I'll probably link it below or whatever. But anyway, let's get right into it. So taxes for Shopify. Filing taxes for Shopify is just like filing taxes for any sort of small business that you own, basically. I think you're considered like basically like an independent contractor or something. They, they send you a 1099, which is pretty much what they send independent contractors. So it's incumbent upon you to file those taxes and make sure that it's done right basically so ideally you're going to want to go to a cpa because this stuff isn't easy you probably could do it I, but i mean if you make a mistake like <laughs> the irs is going to be on your butt man like and they don't leave you alone once they um like contact you one time and audit you so it happened to my grandparents once they, they didn't own a business i think they just like I don't know what happened, man, but but it, anyway, so just make sure that you do them right. So with Shopify, they're going to send you a 1099, and probably with PayPal, they're going to send you a 1099 if you are accepting PayPal. So it's going to give you your total revenue, right? Total revenue out of everything. So let's say your total revenue is a hundred grand, a flat $100,000. What are the chances of that happening? I don't know. Probably not very good, but flat 100 grand so you wouldn't be taxed on the full 100 grand because that's your gross income right your revenue just everything that you've earned not including expenses you know such as advertising production products you guys know what i'm saying right so your gross is just everything with all the gross stuff in it you know like all the expenses and then once you get all the gross stuff out you get your net income you're like net like basketball Actually, it's not even like that at all, but your net income is your income or earnings, you could say, after all of the expenses and, you know, stuff, expense, yeah, just expenses, I suppose, have been taken out. So then you have your net and what you are taxed on is your net income. So that's why you want to be really, really sure about what you're making <laughs> every month because I actually wasn't. Um, one year <laughs> in 2016, I, I had a business, it wasn't drop shipping, but I got stuff custom made in China, accessories, pins and stuff. They're really cheap and, um, excuse me, but they're really cheap. And, um, I sold them at a high markup and made a really good amount of money actually, but not all of it was mine. And I ended up having to give a lot of it back to the IRS. Um, I think my, what, what would it be like? state tax was like 10 grand and federal was like three grand or something it was ridiculous I, maybe i got the two switched around but it was insane man and i think a lot of people think that just because they haven't been doing it right now or been tracking properly as of right now that you just shouldn't and just put it off and say whatever because that's what i did that's why i'm making this video to make sure that you guys don't do that because you definitely don't want to have any surprises come tax season. Like if you made, if let's say, you know, the hundred grand and then your total earnings were like 50 grand and let's say you've spent 80 grand of the hundred grand that you've earned. Well, I guess you're going to be paying some back. So I know that that can happen to a lot of people, but thankfully for me, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a reckless spender. If anything, maybe the opposite, a reckless saver. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes it's hard for me to want to spend my money but if you're not spending it then why are you even like putting in the effort to make it right so so enjoy yourself within reason be a good steward of your money um i think i heard like some old person say that once and it really makes sense to just use your money responsibly 
But anyway, so those are, those are just some things that you really need to have down for tax season. And once you get your 1099, all you have to do is just make sure that you have everything, you know, log, you know how much you made each month, actual, your profit, not just your revenue. And you want to, you want to keep that new account too, just your revenue and then your net. And then every month, just kind of do those calculations. I do it every month. You can do it every three months. It doesn't matter. It's just for me, if I do it every month, it helps me stay on top of it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And as far as receipts go for stuff to prove that you actually had this as an expense, right? Let's say you, sorry, let's say you're an artist, right? And you spend $30 on paints and like buy some pencils or something and you use your credit card. Cool. You know, like it's just, it's, they have electronic trails, you know what I mean? So it'd be harder to prove that you didn't buy it. So just as far as receipts go, you really don't need to save your receipts. You can, but thankfully pretty much everything that we do is online and has paper, not paper trails, the exact opposite, actually electronic trails, such as, you know, PayPal and, um, just your credit card and stuff like that. So in Bitcoin, no, just kidding. Bitcoin doesn't, that's, what's cool about it. But but yeah, so just make sure that you have all that stuff, you know, organized. There are different tools to use it. Some people use QuickBooks. Some people use TurboTax. Um, really, you can just use Microsoft Excel. It doesn't matter, guys. But really what I'm trying to drive home here, which is why I'm kind of like repeating myself a little bit, because I really just want to plant the seed and drive the point that you have to keep track of what you're making. And this is coming from someone who didn't do that because I was like, I mean, like, I'm not making that much. Like, why would the government even, you know, want to take any of it? But it turns out that a lot to me and a lot to the government are two different things. And once you make over a certain amount of money, like, they just want to start taking it, man. I think for PayPal, um, it would be either 200 plus transactions or over $20,000 just to let you guys know because if you didn't think you were going to be taxed and have been getting money from paypal if you have over 200 transactions my bad you are going to be getting a 1099 from paypal more than likely and if you don't i don't know how he didn't but so i just want you guys to be on the lookout for that in your email if you don't like keep good track of your emails because you get a lot i know how it is i get a lot of emails some of them are just stupid crap that I accidentally clicked subscribe newsletter but just make sure you're really sifting through your emails and just being really up to date i know you guys already do that because you guys are on top of it for the most part um yeah you guys are awesome thank you so much for checking out this video that's pretty much it i genuinely really appreciate you guys checking this out we're almost at 30 subscribers, you know, even just one was cool to me when I got my first one, just one person that was interested in what I was saying. As far as content that's coming up in the future, I've been doing a lot of reading of books. My last video is on a book that I read, and I just want to share the techniques that I've learned in books, because not everyone wants to sit down and read or listen to an audiobook. Excuse me, dang. But, um, yeah, so... I'll get all the, the best knowledge to you out of the books that I've read just or that I've read and just, you know, try to share with you guys, provide maximum value. And also I'm just gonna be, I don't know, just as far as content goes, I think you guys are gonna like it. I won't say too much, but I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for checking this out once again. Subscribe if you got any value or if you just, you know, like me or something. But hope you guys have a good one. Hope to see you next time.